Hey, Coach Miller here with Beach Relax, and I have another segment for Lax News. Just want to go over some of the games from last weekend, so let's go right at it. I listened to the Inside Lacrosse podcast with Terry Foy and Quinn Kesnick a couple days ago, so just wanted to provide some summary bullets from that. It's a great podcast. You should check it out. I'll be listening to the post-game podcast when that comes out. Provide some updates on that as well. Give you a little like, snapshot of those two things. So, first thing that they touched on was UVA Syracuse. Syracuse coming off a bad loss to Carolina the week before. They had a suspension with one of their guys. The team was kind of in limbo, but they came out firing. They dominated the faceoff X, and you know, with that controlled possession, I think they outpossessioned them maybe like by a total of like 15 or something like that, and they ended up winning by two. Ian Laviano was somewhat quiet on the day, and Quinn was talking about how when that happens, Virginia usually isn't at their best. So that's pretty much what happened with that uh, ACC game. Uh, and Syracuse got the victory. So the next big game of the weekend was Army-Navy. Bill Belichick was actually at the game. He talked to the Navy team before the game, gave him some words of encouragement. I've talked about it in my blog before. Belichick is a big lacrosse fan. He went to Wesleyan. His dad coached at Navy, so he has those Annapolis ties there. And Navy won. They were out to, uh, you know, there was a bunch of fans in the stadium, which is kind of cool. I know some buddies that went there as well. Before the Quint was talking about how this one senior who hasn't got a whole lot of run, he was actually on the scout team, got in the game, and before the game, Coach Ample was all riled up before the game. And, he was, you know, the kid said to him, hey, Coach, you know, why don't you settle down a little bit? And Ample was like, well, I'll settle down if you score a goal. And sure enough, that same kid went out there and had the opening goal of the game, which is a pretty cool story. Um, Maryland Hopkins. Maryland, you know, pretty much dominated the beginning part of the game. I think they went out to a 5 nothing lead. Hopkins played well, you know, up until like the last part of the game, and then Maryland hung on for the victory. Maryland still undefeated. I think Hopkins is 2-8, and eight, so that would have been a big win for Hopkins, but Maryland, like the championship caliber team they are, hung on in for the victory. And then lastly, I watched half of this game, had to go to work for the second half, but the Tufts Garbage game was awesome. It was on ESPN+. Plus. When I tuned in, Dartmouth was up 2 nothing. But then Tufts, you know, whittled away. And then by the end, by the start of the second half, they had a decent lead of six goals or so. And then Tufts ended up winning by that same tally. Dartmouth, I don't think, had a lot of the roster, but you know, they still went up there. Tufts had played the day before. They played Bates and won 31 to 7. And then they drove to New Hampshire from Maine, and then they won that game as well. So right now Tufts is undefeated and they're looking to play in the NESCAC championship game because there's no uh, rounds before the championship game this year, and that will determine who goes to the NCAA tournament for Division III. So I'm hoping that Tufts continues to win, and I'm hoping they take down the title this year, which would be awesome. All right, if you yourself are looking to become a federal lacrosse player, I have an awesome free training for you. Just click the link right here. It will take you right there, and you get started right away. Coach Miller with Lax News. Talk soon.